Dero, who are you giving love to today? Lauren, I said what? Two to three weeks ago, Ronald Acuna is on a mission. Mm -hmm. And I know he came out of the game yesterday. That ball fouling off the knee, that, that couldn't have felt good. Put the league on notice. He put the league on notice. <laughs> I think he put himself on notice. I think there's so much. He is, to me, kind of the most volatile ball player right now. There's just a lot to love about him. You can have an opinion, good, bad, indifferent. It doesn't matter, but you cannot deny that he's one of the most talented players on the field. And seeing him healthy. I blew my knee out in 2004. It took me probably 12 months to never think about it again. Mm. So he was dealing with that the entire season last year. His exit velocity was a little bit down. His ability to drive the ball was a little bit down. We'll get into the numbers. Eric Nays, researcher to the stars, does an amazing job diving into all of that. But what I want to focus on, we constantly put guys on the skybox and go over different hitting styles. If you walked in to a ballpark and never knew who Ron Acuna was and saw him swing for the first time, you would say that's given to him by the gods. So why would you change it? But he does a lot of things that lead you to believe that pitchers have weapons to get him out, and they don't. Okay? Let's get into it. He's gotten off to an amazing start. He's going to battle for the National League MVP. There's no denying it. The way he's attacking the game, the new rules, the bigger bases, he's going to steal 40, he's going to hit 40. So it's going to come down to someone potentially catching him. Pause this. Bring up the first board of where his ranks are right now. He's hitting 355. That's second behind Luis Arise. Luis Arise is hitting like 720. Stolen bases, he's first. On base, he's second. Slug, he's 13th. Weighted runs created, plus he's seventh. F4, he's second most valuable player in the entire sport. So let's love on some of his homers because he's hitting balls to parts unknown recently. And from all arm angles, okay? Kauffman Stadium, Submariner, leaves it down and in. He golfs it out. There's Sandy, oh. two-seamer, middle of the plate, in the gap, Truist Park. We're going to get into this one. What? Mr. Curtis, watch where this goes. Oh. Run that back because the camera's focused in these first two decks. Check out the third one. Run it. <laughs> this is a dreary day, Robert. City Field, 40 minutes away from us. It's nothing but dreary. Ball shouldn't be carrying to oh, this guy. Gee. Look at it. He was surprised as anyone. He was like, what am I supposed to do with this? But then he goes down to Miami this week and backs it up running. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, how'd this hit up here? I'm rocking a hooded sweatshirt trying to hide from everybody. Left, little two-seamer away. Can we rack that back real quick? Because when Lone Depot Park opened, no one was going dead center. Then we started seeing last year some guys go into the hedges, dead center, just over the wall. Watch where this goes. This goes off the batter's eye, right center of center. Over there. Bring up the board of how much further he's hitting the baseball. This is pretty crazy. His career splits. Okay, so his exit velo. It was down a little bit last year. Could it be the knee? exploding off your backside, I would think it had something to do with it, right? So his exit velocity is up. His hard hit percentage is up. His expected average obviously is up, and his ex expected slug is up through the roof as well. But he's doing the little things. He's running the bags. He's hitting the ball the other way. Let's get back into it before I get into his swing. Robert, stay with me time-wise. We're 19, and I'm not even close yet. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. We're going to 23. Oh we'll get through this. 95, just missile the other way in the gap. This is the good stuff for me. We know he's got pop. And then he's running the bags at an epic rate. The new rules are playing for him. They can only pick over two times. He knows he's got everyone in his back pocket whenever he wants it. <laughs> But I want to get into a side angle. Pause this. I want to talk about all the different positions real quick that we have discussed at the Skybox that hitters try and do. Get into the back side. Bad head replaces the hands. This is your steering wheel. This is your power. But I want you to watch the way this guy does it. Run this slow to foot contact. 
right there. Look at how much separation, and I want you, he creates from his head to his hands, okay? I just want you to be aware of that. What I also want you to be aware of is how square his shoulders stay. He has the ability to put his bat in positions that guys have to put their body into to get their bat to get to those positions. What do I mean by that? We were taught to pull off our ear. Now you're seeing guys that want to drop this back shoulder to get the bat head in the, in the proper slot. He is perfectly stacked so far wide. And when I play a ton of golf, whenever you take a lesson, they talk all about getting the club away from you, creating space. You don't want to be in here where you're all handsy and wristy, which is what I was. Watch the beauty. Now just run this. Run that back real quick. So you would tell yourself, go. If you're watching Ronald Acuna, pause. If I'm pitching against him, what are you telling yourself? The way he presents his bat through the zone, he's got to have a hole right here. I got to be. That's why you see him get drilled so much. Because there's nowhere else to go based on his swing presentation than to run him up and in. The only problem is he closes that up when you throw it for a strike. Run it. He does things you can't teach. So I wanted to bring up some side angles real quick. What does Mike Trout do? Pause it at foot contact. Look at, pause, go back. Two clicks, right? Stay right there. Look at it. Look at the way he presents his bat, the distance between his earlobe and his hands. And look at Mike. Completely different, tight, ready to explode. Mike's hitting with his core. He's hitting just with unbelievable athletic ability. Run it. Boom, show me Vlad Jr. real quick. He does it a little bit different than those two. Boom, pause it at foot contact. Pause, click it back, two. One, two, boom, look how tight he is. His daddy taught him. He's pulling that right off his ear, getting in the slot. Look how wide he is. He does it different than everybody. He's got the most beautiful right-handed hack. Go. One more, Robert, and I'm out, I'm, I promise you. Mm -hmm. I just want you to see the poster boy for when we started to talk about launch angle a little bit. Look at Chris Bryant. You think Ronald Acuna is worried about that? Pause. Look who's trying to create wow. that. Yeah. And look who's square on the baseball. There's different ways to go about it, but he he is, he's been blessed. This, dude's, this dude's special. He stays healthy, he stays motivated. You can argue he's the best player in the game.